Sai Ram students, welcome to the second session of chapter 16 that is preparation of algebra. So today children we are going to solve problem set 55. So what is the first question? Say whether right or wrong. So in that serial number 1 is 23 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 23. Now children 23 plus 4 is equal to how much? 27 and 4 plus 23 is equal to how much? 27. So that means 27 is equal to 27. So you will write therefore 23 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 23 is right. Now let's move to the second one. 9 plus 4 is greater than 12. Now what is 9 plus 4 children? 13. So 13 is greater than 12. Right? 13 is larger than 12. So you will write therefore 9 plus 4 is greater than 12 is right. Let's move to the third one. 9 plus 4 is smaller than 12. Right? Now again 9 plus 4 is how much? 13. 13 is smaller than 12? No. Right? 13 is greater than 12. Right? So that's the reason you will write therefore 9 plus 4 is smaller than 12 is wrong. Let's move to the fourth one. 138 is greater than 138. Now you can see children both the numbers are the same. So 138 is equal to 138. Right? So you will write therefore 138 is greater than 138 is wrong. Let's move to the fifth one. 138 is is smaller than 138. So as I had told you both the numbers are the same so it is equal. So you will write therefore 138 is smaller than 138 is wrong. Let's see the sixth one. 138 is equal to 138. Now you all know both the numbers are equal so that means it is correct. So you will write therefore 138 is equal to 138 is right. What is the seventh one? 4 into 7 is equal to 30 minus 2. Now what is 4 7s are children? 28. And 30 minus 2 is what? 28. So 28 is equal to 28. So you will write therefore 4 into 7 is equal to 30 minus 2 is right. So what is eighth one? 25 upon 5 is greater than 5. Right? So now what you are going to do here children? 25 upon 5. So 5 ones are 5. 5s are 25. Right? So 5 and 5 both numbers are equal. 5 is equal to 5. Right? So you will write 25 upon 5 is greater than 5 is wrong. Let's move to the next question. Ninth one is 5 into 8 is equal to 8 into 5. Now what is 5 8s are? 40 and what is 8 fives are 40 so 40 is equal to 40 so you will write therefore 5 into 8 is equal to 8 into 5 is right 10th one is 16 plus 0 is equal to 0 now 16 plus 0 is equal to how much children 16 right and the other number is what equal to 0 so 16 is equal to 0 is correct or what no Right? So 16 is not equal to 0. So that's the reason you will write. Therefore 16 plus 0 is equal to 0 is wrong. Now let's move to the 11th question. 16 plus 0 is equal to 16. Now what is 16 plus 0? 16. And is equal to 16? Yes. 16 is equal to 16. Right? So you will write. Therefore 16 plus 0 is equal to 16 is right. 12th one is 9 plus 4 is equal to 12. Now 9 plus 4 is equal to how much children? 13. And the other number is 12. So 13 it is not equal to 12. So you will write therefore 9 plus 4 is equal to 12 is wrong. Now the second question is fill in the blanks with the right symbol. Smaller than, equal to or greater than. So what is the first one? 45 divided by 9 and 9 minus 4. Now children, when you divide 45 by 9, what answer you get? 9, 5s are 45. And 9 minus 4, what is the answer? 5. Right? So 5 is equal to 5. So you will write, therefore, 
फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन इज इक्वल टू नाइन माइनस फोर वॉट इज द सेकेंड वन सिक्स प्लस वन एंड देन थ्री इंटू टू राइट नाउ सिक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच चिल्ड्रेन सेवन एंड थ्री टू जा इज हाउ मच सिक्स सो सेवन इट इज ग्रेटर देन सिक्स सो देर फोर यू विल राइट सिक्स प्लस वन इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री इंटू टू third one is 12 into 2 and the next number is 25 plus 10 now 12 to size how much 24 and 25 plus 10 is 35 so 24 it is smaller than 35 right so therefore 12 into 2 is smaller than 25 plus 10 now the third question is fill in the blanks in the expressions with proper numbers so what is given first one 1 into 7 is equal to here there is a box right into 1 so you have to find out which number will come in the box now 1 seven size how much children 7 and what is over here box into 7 so what answer you should get 7 is equal to 1 seven za 7 so 7 is equal to 7 right so in the box what will come 1 into 7 is equal to 7 into 1 right so you will write therefore 1 into 7 is equal to 7 into 1 so this in the box answer will be 7 let's move to the second one the second one is 5 into 4 is greater than 7 into box is there right you have to find out the number what will come over there so what is 5 4 za 5 4 za is 20 so 20 is greater than so here there should be in the box that number should be there which is smaller than 20 right so 19 18 17 like this but it should be in the sevens table now 7 1 za 7 7 2 za 14 7 3 za is 21 now 21 is a larger number than 20 right so what is the before number 7 2 za 14 so you will write 14 right so in the box the number will be 2 right so you will write therefore 5 into 4 is greater than 7 into 2 right third one is 48 divided by 3 is smaller than box into 2 Five. So you have to find out what number will come in the box. Now forty-eight divided by three is how much, children? Sixteen, right? So you have to find, and sixteen is smaller than which number? So you have to find out a number which is more than sixteen. That is seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and so on, right? So if we see five table, five two is a ten, five three is a fifteen. Yes, fifteen is smaller than sixteen, so you have to find out a larger number. So four fives are twenty, or five fours are twenty, right? So you will write twenty because twenty is greater than sixteen, right? So that's the reason you will write sixteen is smaller than twenty. Therefore, forty-eight divided by three is smaller than four into five. So this four, it will be in the box. Right now, let's move to the next one. Zero plus one is greater than five into dash. So five into box is there. Now what is zero plus one? One is greater than. So one number is greater than which number? Only zero. Right. So five into zero. If you take, you will get zero. Right. Five zero za is zero. So one is greater than zero. That means Zero plus one is greater than five into zero. What is the fifth one? Thirty-five divided by seven is equal to dash plus dash. So here there are now two boxes. Now what is thirty-five divided by seven? Seven five is a thirty-five. So is equal to means you should have the five number only. So five for getting five, what you can do? You can write zero plus five, one plus four, three plus two. Any of these numbers you can write. Okay. So five is equal to zero plus five. That means five is equal to five. So you will write therefore thirty-five divided by seven is equal to zero plus five. 
now what is the sixth one six minus dash is e is smaller than two plus three right so two plus three is how much five so it the number which should be to your left hand side it should be a smaller one that means four three two one right so six minus four you can do six minus three you can do right or so what you will write six minus five is smaller than five so one is smaller than five so therefore you will write six minus one is smaller than two plus three now we are going to see about using letters so we use symbols in maths right for addition you use plus for subtraction you use minus multiplication you use cross sign right so these are all symbols so using symbols makes writing very short now if you take example division of 75 by 15 gives us 5 right so this is the long form so how it can be written in the short form now division of 75 so we are writing 75 divided by by 15 so we are writing 15 gives us 5 means equal to 5 so this is written in the short form so letters can be used like symbols to make our writing short and simple for example now 9 plus 4 and 4 plus 9 these are the two numbers so the sum of any two numbers and the sum obtained by reversing the order of the two numbers is same so what does it mean now 9 plus 4 children how much you get 13 now here if you can see the numbers are reversed right in place of 9 we have taken 4 and in place of 4 we have taken 9 so it's just interchange of numbers so when you are interchanging the numbers or reversing the order of the numbers you will get the same the sum which is there which you will obtain it will be the same so 13 is equal to 13 understood so even if you reverse the order of the two numbers you are going to get the same number after doing the addition so let us use a and b to represent any two numbers right so if we are going to take any two numbers like 9 plus 4 instead of 9 plus 4 we will take a and b so their sum will be a plus b right like 9 plus 4 what i told so a will be 9 and b will be 4 right so instead of the numbers we are taking the letters now changing the order of those numbers will make addition b plus a now as i told you 9 plus 4 and is equal to 4 plus 9 so if i am taking a as 9 and b as 4 so what will be the reverse order b will be 4 and a will be 9 so you can write therefore a plus b is equal to b plus a it's one and the same 9 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 9 so we have taken a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 4 so we have written that's why a plus b is equal to b plus a multiplying any number by 1 gives the number itself that means it can be written as a into 1 is equal to a so that means what it is multiplying any number by 1 so any number we have taken as a suppose if i take a as the number 9 so 9 into 1 is equal to 9 so we are taking this number 9 we are representing as a so when you multiply it by any number you will get the same number right given two unequal numbers the division of the first by the second is not the same as the division of the second by the first so if we are taking a and b these are two different numbers then what you can do a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a so you how do we, you will understand this by taking an example right suppose if i take a is equal to a and b is equal to 4 now a divided by b so what is a a is 8 and what is b b is 4 so 8 divided by 4 is not equal to now what is given here b right b is what 4 and what is divided by a is 8 right so 8 divided by 4 is what 2 so 
सो टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू ना फोर डिवाइडेड बाय एट इज हाउ मच इट विल बी वन अपॉन टू दैट मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव राइट सो टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो दैट्स द रीजन वी कैन राइट ए डिवाइडेड बाय बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी डिवाइडेड बाय ए so you can verify this children by substituting the numbers accordingly right now we'll start problem set 56 use a letter for any number and write the following properties in short so now statement is given you have to write a expression for it the sum of any number and zero is the number itself the sum of any number sum means addition so if you are adding any number and the zero and zero is the number itself so if you are adding any number to zero you will get the number only right so how you are going to say you will say let us use a for any number right instead of taking any number we are taking a as the alphabet so what you will write a plus zero is equal to a so if you want you can substitute the value children Nine plus zero is equal to nine, right? So sum means addition of any number we have taken as a and zero. You have added it. You will get the number itself, right? Now let's take the second one. The product of any two numbers and the product of obtained after changing the order of those numbers is the same. right now again what you will do here children we are going to use let us use a and b for any number now product means children multiplication so when you are multiplying two numbers like uh, like 4 into 4 uh, sorry 4 into 2 right so 4 into 2 is 8 now when you are interchanging so it will be 2 into 4 so 8 is equal to 8 like this you are Going to write a into b is equal to b into a, right? So as I told you, a we will take as four and b we will take as two. So four two za is eight. Now b is what two and a is four. So two four za eight. So eight is equal to eight. Now let's move to the third one. The product of any number and zero is zero, right? so product of any number again product means multiplication so if you are multiplying by any number by zero you get the number as zero so we are using let us use x for any number so x into 0 is equal to 0 that means if you take substitute the value of x as 9 9 into 0 will be 0 right so next second question is write the following properties in words m minus 0 is equal to m so how you will write you will write the difference of any number and zero is the number itself now difference means minus of any number means we have taken as m right and zero so m minus 0 is the number itself that means the same number m you get is the answer so if you substitute 9 minus 0 you will get 9 only if you take the value of m as 9 9 minus 0 is equal to 9 right so difference means minus number we have taken as m m minus and 0 you will get the number itself now the second one is n divided by 1 is equal to n so how will you write it the quotient of any number divided by 1 is the number itself now quotient means here children n right so quotient of any number number we have taken as n divided by 1 we have written is the number itself right so if we divide 9 divided by 1 what answer you will get 9 so 9 uh you are uh, substituting the value of n as 9 so 9 divided by 1 is equal to 9 so this n is your quotient any number we have taken as n and divided by 1 you get the number itself right children so with this children we finish problem set 56 and we have finished our chapter 16 preparation for algebra so good bye